What is the most insensitive thing you've ever been asked? About 3 weeks after my brother died, I went back to work. This lady and her daughter come in, never seen her before in my life. She proceeds to introduce herself to me as a good friend of my mother, never heard her name before, saw her face, didn't see her at the funeral. My manager was close by. She starts to say how sorry she is to hear of his passing and goes on and on. I start getting upset. My manager starts to approach us. The lady says oh, how oh did he die? I heard he killed himself. Is that true? I froze. My manager grabs me and says to the lady, excuse me she's needed in the back, and if you're not going to buy anything you need to leave. I turned around and walked to the stock room with tears running down my face. She was the best manager I ever had. Thank you Johanna. Soon after I got home from cremating my child, someone asked if the cremation left chunks of bone and, if so, do they grind that down? Thankfully I saw the humor in it, largely because I could see his wife wanted to kill him. This is something you ask the employees at the funeral home, not to the attendees of the funeral. I have a seizure-like disorder, choreoathetosis. They present themselves in these really inconvenient episodes where I lose partial control of body parts. One time, I was on a date with a dude, and after I told him of my situation he said wow it'd be pretty hot to have you seize while we're freaking. Think you could arrange that? Didn't bother with him after that. Your partner is having a seizure, do you? A. Fetishize their medical condition and go down on them right then and there. B. Call a freaking ambulance. When I told my mother I finally had a girlfriend, her reply was pretty classic. I recommend you be very cautious of any girl that's interested in you. What do you really have to offer? Not much. Gee. Thanks mom. I guess the girl was really just after my kidneys. Keep an eye on her. She might be playing the long con. Didn't you have more acne the last time I saw you my skin is horrible to me. I have eczema on top of just being super oily so when I was in elementary middle school, I had more acne than most of my peers. I was often ostracized and even teased because of it. Even my own parents treated me like I wouldn't be attractive until I had zero acne. Keep in mind, it was nowhere near the severe cystic acne some people get. It was just more acne than what was normal at my age and looking back, everyone was overreacting. But at the time, my skin had become my biggest insecurity. Eventually, I got really into skincare and I started to see results. The dipshit that asked me that question was seeing me for the first time in 3 years and it brought back all the shame I felt about my skin. One time someone asked you no, adoptive father, isn't your real dad, right? No crap, he's not my biological parent, but he is still my dad nonetheless. What a hurtful thing to say. I worked as a waiter for a few years in high school. Elderly gentleman came up to me and asked is it okay to be dealing with food with all that acne? My ex mill ran into me and asked when I was due. Thing is she knew I had miscarried a child with her son. One of the reasons we split up and also knew because of that I could not have children. I just happened to have a still slightly swollen abdomen after a full and total hysterectomy at the time. Needless to say I had a very hormonal and emotional response. Well aren't you happy you had a miscarriage then, or you'd be a single mom now? Asked by my mom while trying to comfort me after my fiancé cheated. Yeah, no actually, a late traumatic miscarriage and depression plus hormones does not make me happy even if he did cheat. But thanks. As a 19 year old disabled woman, I've been asked tons of insensitive things the most is probably a tie between someone asking me if I'm using a walker for the perks, and if I'm faking my disability for better accommodation at university. I can't handwrite, can barely walk without assistance, and can't stand for periods of time. What are the perks and where can I get them? I had a mandatory one on. One meeting with my high school counselor about college prep and the first thing he does when I walk in is scan me with his eyes and says well I guess we don't need to worry about filing your college athletics form now do we and put the form I came in there for to swim in college back in his desk. I can't get a good shot, would mind moving said my cousin, sitting behind me at my grandfather's funeral, I'm still mad I didn't throw him in the casket too. They asked how my daughter was murdered. I said a knife. 
They then said but I mean how? You found her tell me how. What did she look like? Was she tortured? To answer a few questions. This was not a member of law enforcement. They don't ask questions like that. This was a stranger who saw our story on the news and came up to me in a crowded public place when I was with my older daughter and newborn grandson. I did not react with violence. I was still in shock and numb it was a surreal experience. I responded very loudly that her questions were inappropriate. She came up to me talking super loud that she had saw us on the news so she got everyone's attention. I figured it'd speak loud enough for everyone to hear in case any of them didn't know it was rude to ask things like that they'd learned that day. She then walked away, took a picture, heard her camera go off as she pointed it at us, then called someone and proceeded to loudly tell them she talked to us. I wish I could say this was the only inconsiderate person we've dealt with sadly I can't. But I will say we have had more positive interactions with strangers than negative. My experience on Reddit has been mostly positive you all are amazing I joined because my Rosora always kept telling me about it. She loved no sleep and I never experienced Reddit until she was gone. Let me show you. Why did you tell me and what did you do to make him do it? Asked by a family member after I told them about the abuse I suffered from my ex-husband. Finally felt safe to talk about it after 6 years and that was the response. Ro, strange to think strangers on the internet are more caring than your own family sometimes. Hope you're doing okay. I struggled with trichotillomania as a kid. My mom tried all kinds of things to help me quit the habit. But since it wasn't the root problem, just a symptom of anxiety, most of her attempts made it worse instead of better. I remember one time when my cousins were over for lunch. We were all gathered around the table, enjoying our food and having pleasant conversation, when out of nowhere, my mom announced to everyone, Have you noticed that YouTube Vadubop has no eyelashes? She always pulls them out. Everyone turned to stare at me and one of my cousins said disgustedly, Why would you do that? Oh, so you wonder twists? I'm 30 now, but grew up with a lisp, was in speech therapy for years. When I was about 8 years old or so, I went up to a concession stand at my brother's little league game, asked to buy a Twix, the teenage guy behind the counter, trying to impress his lady co-worker, decided to repeat my words back to me, made me cry. One of the only times in my life I've ever seen my mom go full mama bear, she asked me why I was upset, and when I told her, she marched up to that dinky little stand and tore the guy a new one. But yeah, that's the first thing I thought of when I saw this question. Weird how little things like that stick with you. Some people freaking suck, but then you get to see the ones who don't. Like my mom, defender of the little people, love her. I can relate with you. I have a stuttering problem and I am very conscious about it. It only happens when I'm either excited or nervous I was told a few times in school and college to well spit it out then it made me feel like crap. I broke my back when I was a teenager and am paralyzed from the waist down. A girl from school asked me, are you planning on killing yourself? Me. What? Number. Why would I kill myself? Her. It's just, if I was in your situation. Well her life must have sucked to begin with. How does it feel to know your mother is burning in heck? After telling my friend's mom that my family didn't really subscribe to God and religion and all that, she didn't miss a beat, and then tried to double down why she was right. When I was 16 I got asked by some random guy at my aunt's house if I knew that I was prettier when I wasn't smiling. I've always been self-conscious of my teeth and he made it so much worse. I'm 28 now and still hate them but will at least smile in some pic too. Insulting someone's smile or laugh is a horrible thing to do. It takes a lot of joy away when you remember it. Father-in-law asked me if my husband and I if we were eating okay while at college. My response was yeah, we're able to make ends meet and get groceries and even have a little money left over. His response was yeah, I can tell you've been eating plenty. Looks like you ate the whole dang grocery store. I was 5 feet 4 and weighed 110 pounds. Sounds like a real charmer. Hope the apple fell far from the tree with that one. Now that your father is gone, you can have your own life. Are you going to have kids? Asked to me by an older cousin at my dad's wake. 
his body, a few feet away from us in a casket. No, I would much rather have my father alive than dead at 63 years old. Got back from the bathroom at a restaurant. My mom asks in front of my family, do you go into the bathroom to throw up after you eat? I've only been conscious of what I eat after that. Native American here. I always get asked what is your Native American name? It's Jake. Not actually Jake, but a common western name, like Jake. If I'm feeling cheeky, I go with one who pisses in the wind. Most people get excited and say really, wow etc. Number. Next time someone says that, respond one who ignores others and just ignore the rude individual. Not asked to me but directed at me, which makes the question worse. My mom once took me and my sister to the farmer's market. For this story it's important you know I'm half Mexican, but my mother is a very white American. This woman at one of the stalls stares at us while we walk towards them they had something we had come specifically for. As we get to the table, she looks at my mom and at us and then whisper yells what are they I was probably about 16 at the time, so I was especially p off that she couldn't even pose her rude question to me directly. My mom was upset but answered my husband is from Mexico. The woman then said oh so they're not adopted from somewhere I'm a spitting image of my mother, except slightly tan, with darker hair. My mom again answered no. Then she asked if we were here legally, we were born here and my dad is lucky enough to be a citizen. Then she went on a tangent about some illegal lazy Mexican kid she fostered and how they're all the same. The entire time she talked as if we couldn't hear her. The entire experience was very dehumanizing. I'm glad that I've never seen her at that market again. How a few of you were asking why my mom didn't berate fight that woman. It's simple. My mom is a teacher in a small town. News travels fast. She didn't want to lose her job. I just hate knowing that some people see us as subhuman. When I was living in Japan, I met a few people who were genuinely interested that I was a US citizen with Mexican heritage. It was so amazing to have people react with a sense of wonder and curiosity instead of the occasional mildly racial jokes that I get here in the states. Are you going to make your sister's death a national holiday? This was because my sister died at 43, the first significant loss ever in my life. This was the one year anniversary of her death, and I knew it would be hard for me, so I requested the day off of work. This was a co-worker who could name all the people she'd lost, so she bragged since her brother died at age 14, and she said she knew like 30 people who had died since then. I used to put up with her weird quirks. But from that day on I hated her, and didn't remain friendly with her. The guy I've been in a long term relationship with has a Cuban background but his family has been in the US. For generations. One of my grandma's first questions about him, well is he an illegal? My daughter died at birth. A week later while briefly visiting work a co-worker asked if I still consider her my daughter, because she never really lived long outside the womb. Some people really are lost for words I guess. When sitting my dad and stepmom down to tell them I had cancer. Are you sure? You're always over dramatic like your mother. She watched too many soap operas. Then the following months after treatment and a major surgery they told people I didn't have cancer and I faked it. They were they there for the major surgery and the treatments. So I get asked by family did you really fake cancer wtf. I was asked if I knew what I was putting people through by having cancer. I'm so sorry that I woke up one day and decided I wanted to have cancer just to inconvenience you. If I knew it wasn't convenient for you to worry about me, I never would have decided to jump on the cancer bandwagon. My psychologist asked me if the man who tried to kill and rape me would have been my type and if I would have given him my phone number. If he'd asked me, I changed my psychologist after this. She also told me I was kind of asking for this to happen. After reading this, I'm just trying to figure out how the frick this person got their license to practice. Are you adopted? I'm an Asian female. I was working at a restaurant in college part time and one of the white male customers just asked me that with no preamble. Because all Asian girls are adopted out, obviously. I told him I wasn't after I got over my shock. Like WTF why would you ask a stranger that? Wish I had some witty comeback at the time. When I was 9 my best friend passed away from a stroke. 
I was the one who brought her to the school office and stayed with her as paramedics came to take her to the hospital. She died 4 days later. It was an extremely traumatizing experience and caused a lot of pain and mental health issues. I learned to cope by giving myself 2 days of the year devoted to thinking about her and letting myself feel my emotions fully. Those 2 days are her birthday and the day she died. One day when I was in high school, I think around 15 or 16 years old, I was hanging out with my friends at the local park. We were discussing what we were going to do the next day and I told them that it was the anniversary of her death and that I might not go to school that day. That's when one of my friends turned to me and said what are you gonna do? Morn and then she laughed like it was a joke. All I could say to that was, yeah of course. That was the first time I noticed that my friends didn't respect me like they did each other. Comma that was the first time I noticed that my friends didn't respect me like they did each other. Oh man. I know how it feels when you realize the people you've been friends with your whole life don't even like you they just sort of stand you. You know a brother's death is her fault. Asked me by my mom. At the hospital. When I was 6. After we just got into a car crash and he shielded me and took most of the damage which killed him. She blamed me for his death for 11 years after that. Whenever you think of this ugly thing your mother said remember he loved you. Loved you so much he protected you up until his last breath. And a not so kind frick your mom from an internet stranger. First time meeting my fiancé's aunt. She mentioned that I was part Mexican. And her aunt's first question was. Are you here legally? I answered with my Pennsylvania accent. Yeah, I was in born Delaware County, PA. My family background is just Mexican. My brother died while I was in college and I went to talk to one of my professors in person about missing some important class work for the funeral. I told him why I'd be gone and all he said was how did he die and I was kind of taken aback but told him. His response was oh, yeah I guess that's fine if you miss class and turn back around to his computer. This one is more common than you think. Lots of students lie about family deaths to get out of class work, like grandmothers, parents, act. Asking how they passed is a question the liars won't be prepared for, and can trip them up. Still awful, though. I have an Arabic sounding name, to westerners anyways, and half my family is Muslim. I am white and look the part, ethnically Slavic. I was dating someone a while back, who took me to meet their family. They did warn me that their father was terribly racist, so I figured that I'd have to endure a couple of uncomfortable questions. Sucks but it wasn't anything new by that point. First thing I was asked as the man shook my hand was, so how much crap skin is there in you? Just turned around and left the flat without another word. What can you even say at that point? What the frick dude. Caught my girlfriend of 4 years cheating, and after weeks of self loathing decided to try and rebound. Ended up sleeping with a girl who always tried hitting on me when I was still in my relationship. While we're fricking, she asks in what was an attempt at being sexy, how does it feel knowing someone who you told you loved every night was doing this with someone else? You don't know what fear is in response to admitting to my two best friends at the time that I was afraid of my father. We'd all grown up with abusive dads, but because my family wasn't obvious about it, they believed my home life was perfect. I still have a hard time talking about it, in part because of that conversation. Do you not wash your back? I used to have terrible back and before I figured out how to get it under control. Somebody said this to me after we had had sex. How can you be B? That would make me puke. In high school gym class, the two other dudes in my group freaked out him so bad he actually just left the class. It was cool that people stood behind me for once. Nice friends you got there. Mind if I just steal them. When I was in Afghanistan a while ago, we had an aircraft go down. A couple years later, I was asked by someone how he could get a specific moral patch. The patch was made in memorial of the crew we had lost. The guy who asked me about the patch thought that particular moral patch was cool. When I told him that the patch was made in memoriam, he continued asking how he could get that cool patch I didn't know what to say. It was super awkward for me. He probably didn't know what memoriam meant. I'm Lebanese and was on a first date with a guy and he went is it true our Arab girls are secretly s? Since you guys are all oppressed and crap, 
My gay Saudi roommate told me this. Easy to say he didn't get a second date. Well the human s rate, or HSR, does fluctuate between cultures, countries, time frames, etc. One thing is certain that there are no consistent patterns in research provided. I'm adopted. I hate when people ask if I want to meet my real parents. My parents are the ones who raised and supported me. I chose adoption for my daughter and I hope she answers the same way. When people tell me I'm her mother I say no. I'm the birth mom, and are her parents. She will always know me by my name, or maybe a nickname. Cause I'm not mom. A lot of people don't quite understand it. Why didn't you just date him? It doesn't sound too horrible by itself but this was said to me by my best friend's mother shortly after he had killed himself. He had a crush on me for a while, and I loved him dearly, but I'm gay. He wasn't going to change that and he never really tried to, but his mom thinks he died because I rejected him. Grief does horrible things to people so I get that she wanted to blame someone other than her son for the pain that she was feeling over his loss, but yikes on her choice of words and outlet. I am Filipina. When I first met my partner's half-brothers, one of them asked me if I already have my green card. As the night went on one of them also joked and told me I looked like the typical male bride that they see online. My partner and I were high school sweethearts. I was petitioned by my father and the process took 14 years before we were granted citizenship. So hearing that made my heart hurt for my family and their hard work just to get us here in the US. How is your English so good? Well, I am an English major. Chances are, it is better than yours. I'm ethnically Chinese for your information. Why can't you just stop embarrassing me like that? My father, the day I was diagnosed with depression, I did not attend his funeral. When I was diagnosed, my mom said it was all in my head and it wasn't that bad. Yeah, sure. The therapist said I had moderate to severe depression and recommended antidepressants for funsies. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.